What was the charge for the world's first charity single? Oh, it's not going to be banned. Is, is, is the clue in the charge? Yes, it yes. certainly is. The charge of a light brigade. Well the charge done, of you. The Absolutely. Charge. So oh. that's the beginning of the puzzle opened up. So how can the charge of the light brigade have anything to do with the charity single? You can't really release. They didn't release a single. Well, not a single. Well, as it wasn't Tennyson, called a single in those Ten days. Tennyson. There are cylinder recordings of Alfred Lord Indeed. Tennyson. So yep. maybe, maybe he read the charge of the light brigade. On, he may on have done his voice. I am Alfred Tennyson. You do hear that. Absolutely. He did live into the age of the phonograph, as it was mm. then called. But this is actually slightly more touching in a way. There was actually a bugler who recorded the charge, which is a particular call on the bugle, and he was himself a survivor of the charge of the light brigade, and I'll give you the, all the full details of it. He plays the charge that he blew on the day, on a bugle, was used at Balaclava, which had also previously been used at Waterloo. It's a heck of a historic a pedigree, bugle. Yeah. It was recorded as a charity single to raise money for veterans of the charge who had fallen on hard times. And no, we can the play last it. thing they want to hear, though, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't need to listen to it. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> you can hear it now. There you are. That was Martin Landfried, who was a bugler, and he made that recording in 1890, and the Light Brigade was 1854. Incredible uh, quality. And the, the bugle itself is not bad quality, really, is it? And that uh, was to help all veterans, or just specifically veterans well, of that specifically particular Specifically veterans failed... of the charge, yeah. yeah. yeah.